I'm Susan Little and today I'm going to talk about choosing and using a DEET insect repellent product. The first thing you're going to do is to look at the front of the product and identify the word DEET toward the bottom. Beside the word DEET you're going to find a number. That number tells you how much DEET is in the product and also tells you how long that product's going to last. A 5% product will last approximately 90 minutes, a 10% product 3 hours, and a 100% product will last 10 plus hours. It's not necessary to choose a 10 plus hour product for a backyard barbecue. You only need to choose a product that's right for your activity. So a 10% product that gives you about 3 hours of protection should be fine. Next, turn the product around and look at the back panel. It's really, really important to read all the label directions very carefully and understand what they are telling you to do. Also, it's important to look at the bottom and ensure that the product has an EPA registration number. The Environmental Protection Agency requires formulators of insect repellent products to provide safety and efficacy data. This number tells you that this product has been reviewed by the EPA. You never want to use things like garlic or dryer sheets or anything that someone tells you probably will work because you need to make sure that it works. So always identify that registration number. Next we're going to apply the product making sure to cover all exposed skin. It's not necessary to put DEET beneath your clothing because your clothing creates a natural barrier. But it is very important to make sure that all exposed skin is adequately covered. Make sure that the tops of the feet, around the ankles, and behind the knees are evenly covered to make sure there's no exposed areas. A mosquito can find a spot the size of a quarter and bite you if you're the only meal there. So make sure you get that repellent on adequately. Also, when you're applying to your face, don't ever spray a product directly in your face. Put the product in the palm of your hand, rub your hands together, and again, make sure that all exposed skin is adequately and evenly covered. Your neck, your chest, all parts of your face, including your forehead, and the top of your head if you happen to be balding. DEET insect repellents come in a variety of product types. There are aerosols, lotions, creams, pump sprays, and the newest product type, the towelette. DEET also has a variety of fragrances. The American Academy of Pediatrics has identified that DEET-based insect repellents can be used on children over the age of two months old in concentrations up to 30%. It's important to identify the word DEET and the concentration level, which is the number right beside the word at the bottom of the front label. Parents should always apply DEET-based insect repellents to their young children, making sure that they get a good even application on all exposed skin. It's really important to note that you should avoid children's hands and around their mouths because children oftentimes put those hands in their mouths and will often lick around their mouths. Make sure that when you're applying the insect repellent, you apply it well to the exposed skin on the legs, making sure that you cover around their ankles, the tops of their feet, and behind their knees. Those are areas that parents often miss when they're applying the repellent. Never ever spray a child in the face with an insect repellent. Make sure that you put the repellent product in your hands and apply to the neck area, the exposed area on the chest, the cheeks, and the forehead, and again remember to avoid applying the repellent around the mouth.